we called it, uh, was it a cosmic margarita or something? <laughs> it was like a big pitcher of margarita with like two hits of acid in it that you just sort of drank or didn't drink throughout the day. And we were trying to, we were trying to get like really serious work done, you know, on, on a record. And we kept going outside and like writing this ridiculous song um, that <laughs> If it sounds like acid, it's because it is. Uh, and so this is a song called Apophobia, which is... It's the, wor it's the word for the fear of palindromes. And, it, and it, it is a palindrome itself. And most of the lyrics in this song are palindromes, if not entire sentences. And the entire last verse is a palindrome. The whole thing, front, front to back, is one. Little side note too. I I got both of the hits. I picked both hits out of my oh. <laughs> so I got the full brunt of the cosmic Margarita side. And when we were doing this, we ran out of acoustic instruments, and John was just playing a Stratocaster with nothing plugged into it, just going. <laughs> and it sounded great. We were like, "That's the secret sauce. <laughs> the unplugged Stratocaster that doesn't have a string on it." <laughs> All right. So the, for the first time ever, the world debut. <laughs> and you can't say abophobia because abo is like a horrible racist slang term for uh, aborigines in Australia, which we learned fast. We're like, is it abophobia? Like, oh no, no, the internet's no, no, don't say that. Abo. Ready? Fuck, <laughs> here we go. Okay. A one, two, a one, two, three. Toyota, she ain't much, but that's enough. Her eyes are pearls and her skin is tough. 